Well, welcome folks, this is Dennis and this is our new show, Spiritual Advocate for the Voiceless, Spirit Returns. So, welcome to tonight's episode. I have no idea what's going to happen because I'm not in control. I am definitely not in control. So, welcome to you all. If you would like to put any comments into the comment box and if you're any good, I'll put them on the screen like this, um, you know, the way it comes. Well, it should do anyway. It's, oh, it's the wrong one. There you are. It should do that. It should come out. So that's how you get your comments. So what it's about, we, well, we did a show um, nearly three weeks ago regarding spirit and the loved ones who have been forcibly removed off the planet. That's the best way to say it because I've got to watch what I say here. I don't want to lose the platform, so I'm going to be talking in code. Um, I don't know if you could hear me. That would be great if someone can actually type in. You can hear me. Um, it looks like maybe Facebook has not sent out the notifications for there's nobody in the comments or nobody making comments. That's okay. I don't mind being on my own. Well, I'm not on my own because I've got spirit and they're all around. So I know they've been around all day because I've been feeling a little bit funny all day, a little bit tipsy, maybe with the spirit. But tonight we will be asking those who have gone over to the other side through forced moving on, through having what you may call a procedure done against them, against their own free will or coerced, or being mistaken into hospital situations and misdiagnosed on purpose. So they can be what you may call on the conveyor belt of moving off Mother Earth over to the Rainbow Bridge and then back to spirit. So it's... A show where I put myself out from here um, and then basically I ask upstairs for any of those loved ones who've gone over on the other side, if they wish to come through, that would be great. If they don't wish to come through, I cannot help this. I cannot, um, I can't make it happen. I can only be helpful to those who want to come through on the other side. And without them coming through, anybody who just sits here and says, basically, they're in tune with spirit and they're not in tune with spirit, then, to me, they're false. They're false idols and they need to be um, sorted. So, welcome, Jill. Welcome very much. It's good to see some is here in the show. And so that's what it's all about, folks. It's being open to receive and receptive no matter what happens. No matter if nobody turns up, that's fine. Long as we're here, ready and able, and our intention is pure. So... When our intention is pure, what happens is, I'm just doing this down, when somebody posts something, it, it, I can hear the noise, noise. What happens when our intention is pure to be used as a vessel for spirit, you will automatically get tested. Not tested for what is going on in the world now, at the moment, if you follow our drift, but you'll be tested, are you ready and able to work are you ready and able to stand up to be counted when the chips may be going down not in your favor are you ready are you ready to listen to your guides and your inspirers as they help you to move through and negotiate this maze of what is happening on mother earth at this moment because we are all here at, the, at this moment for an experience. I was going to say an adventure, but 
the word adventure was taken off me straight away. It allowed me to speak it again out of contact. So we're here not for an adventure but for an experience of having this is where it's going to come in now having the adventure of living on Mother Earth but not realising to a certain point that we are spiritual entities having this experience. And when we realise that we are spiritual entities having this experience, we then can then pull all our past energies, our past knowledge, known or not known to us. When we say not known to you, is that everything is stored Everything is stored within your soul essence, but not here on this earth. It is stored off planet where you have originated come from. So everything that you ever done, ever known about, ever experienced is in your oversoul, living, having an experience at home as your spiritual soul as your spiritual energy as that all what you can be is at home your you on this planet now are only a small morsel of yourself so this is why we speak in a way here to set the tone for this evening for when you come onto the planet you sign physically mentally soul wise spirit wise energetically wise a contract to have your life to bow out at certain times to con contact or contract certain diseases to to be married into certain families to have experiences that you've set up for yourself with other people off planet for the betterment of your soul and your experience alongside the betterment of other people and their souls and their experiences. We were having a conversation today with our beloved one who we speak through now. Forgive us for we have just slipped in here. We are what you may call his guides, his council, the council of 12 and we are here to make sure that everything fits in the order as it should be and nobody on the higher side of life gate crashes our party for there are mischievous spirits out there who will take every opportunity they can to come down and to feed misinformation so we are very aware of this so this is why we are basically on standby we are the bodyguards, so to speak about. So you've signed a contract to come onto this earth to have an experience, whether you like it or not. It's called karma. Now people say there's good karma and there's not so good karma. They call it bad. Then they call it negativity. Negative karma, positive karma. Actually folks, it's just one energy that human beings like to have labels and they've split it into two negative and positive and we say it's just an experience you've elected to come on this earth to have an experience to fulfill your soul passion there are some of you who have left this planet voluntary because of what is happening now upon your earth you've left it on purpose and voluntary to go over to the other side and to steady the ship of earth when you come back to give messages of continuation messages of life that you have forgotten messages of understanding peace wisdom and messages of different higher vibrational energy forms call it races, call it ETs, they are all there. 
And some of you have had this expression of taking off the planet under your what am I going to say not under your own steam when you sign a contract basically you know when you're leaving the planet well you don't actually know because you will not want to know the time of your death of your reincarnation you wouldn't want to know that it would hinder some people so you sign a contract to come on this earth to do the best you can and to leave when the time is right but you're not knowing about it well those who've come on this planet to actually help mankind by going through experiences that they, they have signed a contract for that has been not been at the front of their mind it's been hidden so to speak though these are the people that we will say thank you thank you for suffering thank you for standing your ground thank you for volunteering to have a procedure that has taken you off the planet thank you for your life being shortened by those who do not know any better for if they knew better they would definitely do better you follow our drift here. So what we would say to those who have left the planet, forcibly, but not by their own hand, that if you are listening to this now, on the other side of life, then we ask you to step forward, to give to the people on earth your knowledge, your wisdom, your understanding of what happened to you and why it was happened, why it was done forcibly. And when you've gone over to the other side, what's it like? We know what it's like, but we wish to reinforce the belief with other earth beings who have forgotten the true passage of the soul. We have a joke with him last week, when we say, look at the grave, what does that mean? And he saw R.I.P., rest in peace. And we said, no. Reincarnation in progress. And he chuckled, and we chuckled with him. So we have a chuckle party. Yes. He wasn't in the, court, in the graveyard. He was reading the book. And we just flashed a picture to him. And we all had a party. Because we're all reincarnating every single moment. We are rebirthing every single moment. Well, not exactly every single moment, but you follow our drift. Everything is rebirth. Everything is dying. Your thought patterns that didn't hold you up are dying. The way you've not supported yourself is dying. You're starting to step into your ascension. And when you start to step into your ascension, loved ones, you see the beauty of life and what it's all about. We have our first caller here. We have our first caller coming in. And it is a lady from... Lytham St. Anne's. Lytham St. Anne's is a seaside town near Southport, near Blackpool, on that coast. Yes, she's saying that, and the surname is Clark. She's not given me her first name, but the surname is Clark, and she's showing me the St. Anne's, Lytham St. Anne's Pavilion and the windmill. So she's showing me the windmill, and she's saying that the sails of time 
It was her time to go. Wow. She's saying it was her time to go. And what she showed me, or what she said she saw when she was admitted to hospital, it was like she wasn't supposed to see it, but she saw it. She saw people lying in beds being administrated substances. As the ward, as the doors of the ward open, she felt a overwhelming darkness, as though that ward was dark. And he's like, whoever went into that ward did not come out of that ward. In that ward, in that hospital, somewhere in, I would say, St. Anne's, the Blackpool area, somewhere around there, she's not been exactly um, bang on the point at the moment, is that there were a higher death rate than normal. But she's saying to me she didn't pass with what you call COVID. She didn't pass with that. It was an embolism. It was a stroke that she passed with. She leaves a family, quite a big family actually, and there has been a newborn either since she went over to the other side or just before, as she laughingly says, popped her clogs. And she's telling me that she loved her flowers. She loved botany. She loved flowers. She loved the Chelsea Flower Show. She loved Southport when all the flowers were out. Southport, St. Anne's, Lytham St. Anne's. She loved all this and that she's talking about the Derby and Joan Club the Derby and Joan Club something symbolic she didn't want to play bingo but she did play a little bit bingo now and again uh, unlucky in bingo but lucky in love that was great unlucky in bingo but lucky in love I join my beloved. I join my beloved. She's pointing me to a double grave where the, the resting coffins are stacked on each other. But he's not there. I'm not there. We are dancing the trip, the moon fantastic. And she's got the ca castanets out. Spain, Spain. Flamingo, she's got the castanets out and she's dancing in tune. I'll be back, I'll be back, okay fine, I'll be back. I'll bring other people with me, I'll be back, I'll bring other people with me. For they have different stories, different understandings. And different expressions of how to express their earthly life even though they're on the other side of life p.s she says p.s there is no covid over here there are just blue skies puffy clouds animals horses flowers which i love I was born with green fingers. So if there's anybody out there can place what this lady you just brought through, she gave you the surname, I think it was Clark again, just not giving it to me again. It's like the door just closed. There was a puff of smoke and the door just closed. So when that door closes, I can't go and get them. They've got to come back on their own free will. 
Um, as I'm looking at the door that they return in, there is a guide in front of the door that's going, no, no return at the moment, no. That message has gone over to the other side. Now somebody else just came in then. They give me the name of Joe. They said, I am Joe, I am from, and then it went dead. So I am Joe, and I'm just going to wait until I get the notification. So what I do now, folks, is I just open the channel, or the channel's open, witness. I am Joe, I am from witness. Witness. He's talking about Liverpool. He's talking about the docks. He's talking about shipbuilding, how it doesn't exist anymore. Talking about the docks at Liverpool, how they've been transformed. He was a labourer on the docks. He was up to mischief many, many moons ago when he was a lad of mischief. He's... Um, He's had some good times and um, the kind of chap that you would find in a tavern having a drink with the lads and a full pint of old fashioned ale. Oh, he's talking about his job over there is to help the ones who are coming over who don't know what has happened to them. One minute they're on earth having an experience then the next minute they're on the other side having another experience which blows their mind thank you um, one tries our best to give messages thank you Lisa he's talking about coach parties going to Aintree, going to the horses at Aintree and this man had an eye for the fillies. Well, that's a good way of putting it. An eye for the fillies, but he means ladies, not the horses. He had an eye for the ladies. And he loved Ladies' Day in the horses. I don't know if he means um, Aintree or Ascot, I'm not sure. He says it doesn't matter. You've explained it right. And you put a twist on it, dear Dennis. The fillies are horses, but also the fillies are ladies. Many a lady, a filly, has turned his eye. And many a filly is backed, put a bet on, and lost his shirt on. So you could say, he's saying, I've been taken to the cleaners once or twice, but what a good experience. What a ride I've had in life. Now he's talking about people having a rough ride in hospitals. They expected to come out the other side, but they didn't do. He's talking about the oath that doctors take, that they should do no harm to anybody. He's talking about that. So if you have an understanding what he's talking about, why is he mentioning that? I know why he's mentioning it. But I don't want to bring it out. What you... To have an understanding that people can swear an oath but not carry it through if you get my drift or if you get our drift here. For there is always exceptions to the rule. Now, 
He's talking about people being wheeled in to hospital in wheelchairs. Now, I'm not sure what he means this, but next thing I saw was a picture of these people walking, dancing, being happy. Now, I'm not sure if that's when they went to spirit and they regained their spiritual body or they went into hospital and they came out fully fit. He's not telling me He's not giving me the um, description of the picture that he flashed at me. He's saying now that some were wheeled in and as soon as they were wheeled in, they departed for the other side. So they were happy because it was instant. They were no lingering about, nothing to that, that the ego couldn't scare people with. So one minute they've been wheeled in and next minute they've gone on into spirit, gone home. But on the other hand, there were people being wheeled in expecting to go to spirit, but they didn't. They made full recovery and they're outside at Aintree playing football, Everton playing football, Liverpool playing football. So he's giving me the scenes that they are perfectly fit now. Upset some of them they say this is this is his sense of humour. Some of them were all codgers. This is just a picture we give to you, Dennis, so you can describe it in your earthly words to get the message across. If only people knew that they could do harm by their words and their deeds. And when so I'm going quiet. Ooh, it's just gone all quiet. It's like shut up shop. It's like pulled the roller down, he pulled the blind down on me, so I can't see what's going on. This is new, this is new, this is... His guide has stepped in and said he's trying to allow him the time to not be scared, to come forward, to open up, to be a whistleblower. For when you are a whistleblower, you put your head above the pulpit. You, if you're a whistleblower, then you are prepared to people have pot shots at you. So this is in a way how tonight we are allowing our partner to speak like this, but in a way in code. So you know, well, most of you know what's going on. And if you read between the lines of the words that he is speaking and the pictures that he is painting with his mind, for you to view with your own eyes in your heart then you'll have a greater understanding of what we are trying to reflect to you of what has been going on on your earth plane at this moment as a word of warning we would say to you do not take everything as being pink and rosy there are always underlying factors and people working in the shadows obviously trying to open the chains to put round people again and to winch them back onto the dungeon wall.
he's looking. The channel is open and he's looking for those who wish to communicate. And to be honest, there is a there's a mechanism, there is a way of doing things. We that have had earthly lives cannot intervene with those who've passed over and say you have to do this. They have, they have to, in a way, come to understand that they have still an amount of free will over on the other side. However, we encourage people to share their messages of what they have been through, either good or not so good, while they were on the earth. And if they can, to give guidance to other people that may be going through the same situations as they did themselves. As a word of warning, we will always say that this is a show that nobody else is doing. This is a show that we invite loved ones in spirit to come down. Not your psychic show, not your tarot card show, not your mediumistic show, but way above that vibration. A vibration that will help all beings, spiritual and physical, while they're having their earth transitions. That there is a greater life awaiting you. No matter what you're going through at this moment. And we say that again. No matter what you're going through at this moment. It is only temporary. For you have come from the land of golden. You have come from your promised land. And we ask those modern day Moses to set your people free. To set them free. To show them the way. To stand up to the tribes who want to enslave mankind. Look at the Egyptians. Look how they built the pyramids. They're slaves, slaves and slaves. But when one man can rise up and try to free the slaves and the other people try to entrap them again to pull them back do you not think this is happening upon your planet at this time for mankind has to learn of its folly has to learn from the mistakes of the past you could say they're not mistakes you could say that was meant to happen. They will argue that. For you set up situations to have experiences from. And when you have experiences from, you can gain and add to that experience and put it in the back of your physical mind and play it back again when you wish to. For life is exciting do not let the ego pull you down but let the heart set you free let your thoughts and feelings return to your homeland where you've come from you are a spark of the intimate light that will never ever go out will never ever diminish but will only go brighter in the more experiences that you have and you become to recognise how powerful you are. Before we leave you this evening we would like to give thanks to all those who are standing up against the oppression 
of the chosen few. We are to say thank you for the ones who are standing their ground in the medical fields. By your own free will, you will be known. For every light that shines brightly in your villages, in your towns and in your cities and in your countries, we know of that light. So we ask you to come together in a tapestry of light for each other. Let your light be full of love, learning, compassion for yourself first and foremost and then for your brother and sister, whether they are in captivity or whether they are free. Remember, for some reason, human race has elected to go through their own experiences to give them self-realisation. You could say the pandemic is self-realisation, but we will discuss that at another time. For we here, above your earth plane, have our own instructions that we are not allowed to go beyond We cannot bring you information that the human race cannot understand. You ask for much technology, but the technology you have, you've used it to entrap your brothers and sisters. So we will bid you good evening now, and we thank the loved ones that have come through to give their messages of love, of hope and love and we hope that people on your earth plane claim them and communicate with them and if you'd like to hear more of this kind of show where we connect the loved ones who've passed with their messages of love, understanding and the whistleblowers if you like to know more or hear more, then please let us know through our partner here. But in the meantime, we will say good evening, God bless, and as he's very proudly saying, one for all and all for one. So we say good night, God bless to you all. Bye for now. Thank you.